Hey folks, so today in this video, I'm gonna tell you what lossless audio is. So let's get right to it. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts if this is your first time here. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll like, subscribe, bell notify yourself so you can come on back to find out more about audio and other tech-related stuff. Thank you again. If you've been here before, you're my hero. Thanks for coming back again. Now, let's get straight into this lossless audio thing. A little history lesson. Digital audio has been uh, lossy since really the MP3 generation started. So what happened was full digital files that were available and they were just way too big. People figured out a way to compress them down and into something like the MP3 format. And over the years, MP3s have gotten a little bit bigger. The quality has gotten a little bit better, but in general, lossy means that something has been taken away from the file. So people came up with MP3s and other types of file compression formats that would take out some of the information, leave what was pretty much the important information, and then it would be a smaller file that you could put onto your iPod or your phone or whatever it is. Now we can stream our music and streaming has gotten to the point where not only can we stream lossy files, but it's possible for us to stream lossless files. And now with Apple bringing lossless audio to Apple Music, a lot of people are wondering, what the heck is this lossless audio? So that's what I'm gonna to explain. To put it simply, lossless audio is whatever came out of the recording studio and then the mastering studio and got sent to the record label or sent out to be reproduced in whatever way it was being reproduced or sent to the music streaming services like Apple Music, etc., etc. So what's the difference between lossless and lossy? I mean, other than the obvious, lossless has no missing information. The files with lossless audio can be much, much larger. Now, lossless files can can be compressed into forms like ALAC, which is Apple's new format, or FLAC, which is uh, a format that's been used for a long time. ALAC stands for Apple Lossless Audio Codec, and FLAC stands for Free Lossless Audio Codec. They're very similar. They do compress the file, but instead of losing information, they work more like a zip file that you would get sent to you on your computer. They take the file and they shrink it down temporarily. Then when they're opened up, all of the information that was available uh, in that lossless file is available once again for playback. MP3s, instead of crunching it down and then opening it back up to be complete, they take out usually like stuff that's on the way high end and way low end. So things that people don't normally hear, they take out a lot of that information and it depends on the bit rate. It depends on a lot of different things, but MP3 files actually remove things from the file, whereas lossless codecs do not. There have been over the years different standards for lossless. CD quality is considered 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz, and then lossless digital files are now considered 24-bit 192 kilohertz. So now we need to define a couple of terms. What is bit depth? Bit depth is basically the dynamic range that the audio has. So if it's how it's how loud and how soft the audio can get. So 16 bit is one thing, 24 bit is another. So the more bits you have, the more dynamic range you have. And this is basically similar to photography. Photography has uh, dynamic range as well. Cameras also have bit depths and they also have dynamic range. So it's a very similar concept. So what are the kilohertz? I mentioned that CD quality is 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz, and that lossless audio in the digital form is considered 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. Kilohertz is basically the rate at which the audio is being sampled. One hertz is one second. 192 kilohertz would be 1092 hertz per second sampling rate. There's a lot of math that goes into that, but basically more samples equals better quality. So that's basically what lossless audio is. It is a direct copy of the digital file that was created in the in the studio and and then mastered for distribution. There are ways to compress it so it's not quite as large, but those files are much larger than 
any kind of compressed file like MP3 or AAC or anything like that. A lot of people have asked me, can my Bluetooth headphones do lossless audio? And the, the short answer is no. Bluetooth headphones cannot do lossless audio. They can do, in some cases, what's called high-res audio, but it gets really deep into the weeds. And if you want me to, I can do another video that explains all of the different kinds of lossless and high-resolution files that are out there. But suffice it to say that lossless is the best possible recreation or representation of audio that you can possibly get. Here are some quick questions that I've been asked, and I have a video that gives you some information on the kinds of equipment that you would use up here. I'll link that video, but very quickly, what do you need? You need a wired connection, whether that's headphones or a receiver that goes to speakers or a speaker set that will also decode the high quality lossless files. Can you listen to lossless audio on your AirPods, whether they be AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max? The answer there is no, you cannot. Even with the AirPods Max, if you use the cable that's provided, you are not getting a lossless file. All of the AirPods use Apple's AAC lossy compression codec, and there's no way around that. If you're using AirPods, you can get high quality audio, but you can't get lossless audio. Another question I get all the time is, can I listen to lossless audio through Bluetooth? Now that includes the, the AirPods, but uh, all Bluetooth headphones. And the answer there is, no. Again, there are codecs that different Bluetooth headphones might use. Sony has their own, etc., etc., that do that do give you high quality playback, but Bluetooth is not equipped to deliver lossless files. The amount of bandwidth that can be sent through Bluetooth is much smaller than the amount of a bandwidth that would be necessary to send that large lossless audio file through. So you're always getting some compressed version of a lossless file. If you're listening to say Apple Music or Tidal or something like that and you select a lossless audio file, that file will play back, but it will play back in the quality that Bluetooth is capable of. So again, you cannot listen to lossless audio through a Bluetooth connection. You can get close with different codecs, but not lossless. A lot of people have asked me if they could listen to lossless audio on their home pods or something like that. The home pods right now, while they have the ability to use airplay, Wi-Fi can carry lossless audio files. The home pods are not equipped to play lossless audio at this time. Apple says that they may be able to play lossless audio at some point in the future. A lot of people have asked, can I listen to lossless audio through my 3.5 millimeter to lightning adapter with headphones? And yes, you can listen to the lossless file. However, that is only equipped to send 24 bit 48 kilohertz signals through. So you're not getting the full 192 kilohertz, although again, it is a lossless file, just not at the same sample rate as the full file would be. The final question that people have given me a lot is, uh, can I use the 3.5 millimeter to lightning cable that I can get for my AirPods Max? And the answer to that is again, no, the AirPods Max weren't designed to be able to play lossless files. You can play back lossless files through that cable, but it will not be completely lossless, although the quality of the sound might be better than what you would get through a straight Bluetooth connection. So that's basically what lossless is, and those are some of the questions that I've gotten uh, about how people can listen to specifically Apple lossless audio, but this applies to pretty much any lossless file with any, uh, with any piece of equipment. Whatever device you're using, needs to be able to take that 24-bit, 192 kilohertz file and transfer it through a wire to your headphones. Not everything is capable of doing that. Whatever equipment it is that you have, you need to check out whether it's capable of doing that. And again, if you wanna know some of the equipment that can transfer lossless files, I do have that video 
right up here that you can go check out and find some of my suggestions for headphones and DACs and amps that will get you started. I'm going to do further videos on how this all works, but do let me know what questions do you have down in the comments so that I can know what you guys still need to know about lossless audio. Uh, I'm going to do a video about lossless versus spatial audio, the, the new thing that Apple's bringing out. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to know about that, hit the subscribe button. And I'm also going to be doing videos on gear that you can use to enjoy lossless audio once you start going down this lossless audio path, you kind of go down a rabbit hole. There's ways to enjoy lossless audio without having to spend thousands or even multiple hundreds of dollars. More videos to come on that subject. Once again, thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.